In this video, let's understand what the slope of the production possibilities from here is. So for instance, at this level over here, at this yellow dot, if we draw a slope, what's that, what does it show us? Let's just use the math. Well, the math, tel the math tells us it's going to be the change in the y-axis relative to the change in the x-axis. So it's going to be the change in the quantity of food relative to the change in the quantity of clothing. In other words, to produce, so let me use some arrows here, to produce one more unit of clothing, how much food do we must give up? And we call this the marginal rate of transformation. How can we transform from food into clothing? How much capital and labor must we use from the food production to allocate to the clothing production so that we can literally transform the capital and labor into clothing units? That's the intuition. So here we introduce the concept of the MRT, marginal rate of transformation. Now, besides that, what does it mean to produce one more unit of clothing? Well, that means that we must pay for it. We must pay the cost of production. So we must incur a marginal cost of producing one more unit of clothing. That marginal cost is the capital and labor that we must free, that we must take from not producing some food. So I hope this makes sense. The fact that we want to produce one more unit of clothing gives us a cost of producing it, a cost of capital and labor relative to the marginal cost of food production, relative to how much clothing, sorry, how much capital and labor we would use if we produced food instead. This marginal thing is, is hope it makes sense, hope you can see the analogy with all the marginal uh, ratios that we had so far, marginal utilities and now marginal costs in this case. So we are producing one more unit of capital, we must employ labor and capital, sorry, we are producing one more unit of cloth, we must employ labor and capital for it, therefore we incur this marginal cost. The division by the marginal cost of food shows us the ratio, shows us the relative uh, comparison, because we must know how much clothing and labor we must use for, how much capital and labor we must use for this clothing production, relative to how much we would use for food production because that's the whole intuition we must know how much to give up in terms of food to produce that one more unit of clothing hope this makes sense now in the next video which i think is going to be the last one we're going to associate the concept of the marginal rate of transformation with the marginal rate of substitution we're going to see the connection between firms and consumers in this closed economy